watching NBC Connecticut. Doctors have been able to freeze embryos for decades for couples going through fertility treatments. It has also allowed women with cancer to freeze embryos before treatment made them sterile. But if a woman didn't have a partner, she had to find a sperm donor to make an embryo. But recently, doctors have figured out how to just freeze a woman's eggs. And a pioneer of this process works right here in Connecticut at the Yukon Health Center. What else do you want? Here, pick one. Carrie Oliveira is a career woman in her early 30s. For now, she's happy playing with her friend's children, but she dreams of having kids of her own someday. I have had a few relationships, but really haven't met the right person. I definitely want to have children, uh, hopefully in the next few years. But if that doesn't become a reality, then at least I sort of have um, a backup plan. Since she doesn't have a partner now, Carrie's so-called backup plan involves something that only became available to women in the last few years, freezing her eggs while they're still younger and healthier, then thawing them when she chooses, perhaps years from now, to be fertilized and hopefully result in a birth. Being able to freeze eggs, I think, is, is, is a breakthrough technology just in that I can preserve my fertility and also select a partner further down the road. This is one of six babies born from a study at UConn's Center for Advanced Reproductive Services. Women's eggs were frozen and then thawed and fertilized. Dr. Claudio Benediva says it is considered experimental, but UConn's program is carefully reviewed by an ethics board and it's working. We are one of the few you know, centers that have been able to produce you know, results to show that this can be done with good, good success. So why did successfully freezing women's eggs take so long to figure out? Well, the problem was in the thawing process, and here's an easy way to explain it. Freezer burn, something just like that, ice crystals would appear on the eggs, ruining their very delicate genetic makeup. The eggs are at a delicate genetic state, and embryos are a little more stable. Vitrification or flash freezing is used on eggs that were produced using fertility drugs. The freeze and thaw was perfected by lab director Joni Stelic, who got the first live birth in 2002 after working with another doctor, she explains. I tweaked a little bit and I got a pregnancy and he called me up and he said, what did you do differently? Because he was very strict and I said, I changed the timing and the temperature. <laughs> He said, well, whatever you did, it worked, and it hadn't worked before for him. Dr. Benediva explains that egg freezing will be life-changing for some. One group that we've been particularly interested in is young women with cancer uh, or other medical conditions that need to undergo chemotherapy or uh, radiation therapy. We know they are going to become infertile. And UConn will offer egg freezing this summer, and they see it helping the following groups. Younger women diagnosed with cancer, couples doing IVF who do not want the ethical dilemma of too many embryos. They can freeze eggs and thaw and fertilize them when they desire. Also, women like Carrie that you saw preserving their fertility and also egg donation for women who can't make their own. We could someday see egg banks, just like sperm banks, from donors. We are approaching breeding season.